You greet every guest with the suspicion that they're only here to rob you blind. Half of them usually are. Then they're just living up to your expectation, aren't they? Really, Eric, you must learn to trust people. Must I? Hey, my God. What? What, some bloke in the cafe just been having a right go at you? What about? Shouting at him, saying that he'd sold him a botched job. That the barn's not fit for purpose, whatever that means. What? Well, I'm just relieved news never bought one. What are you talking about? Oh, apparently it's a right shoddy job. All cut corners with the plumbing, electricity. I'll be down within the air. <laughs> Called him a cowboy and said that he'd rather live in a tent than one of his crummy conversions. Thank heavens we didn't shell all that money out then. I need to talk to Jay. What about? Nothing. Ah. Jay. Jay. Are you sure you're all right? You look a bit peaky. Fine. Why don't you rustle you up a nice salad? Cheer you up. Soup. Mum, I'm fine. Hi. Uh, not in the mood. Just the cappuccino, please, Brenda. What's up with them? No idea. Well, I'll bring it over. We live together. How long can we keep this up? I've been texting you all morning. Yeah, I noticed. You know what? You're right. The thing to remember about me, Jenny, is that I'm a terrible person. If there's someone to upset, a mate to let down, or say the wrong thing to, then I'm your girl. I don't mean to. It's just the way I am. The sooner you get that in your head, then there'll be no more surprises. What I said about Aaron... ...is below the belt. And it hurt. But I can't say that you were wrong. I'm sorry. Me too. <laughs> and I'm sorry I never realised how you felt about Nick Hill. No, I can't do this. Talk about not being able to see the nose in front of your face. It's another one of my faults. There you go. You've pretty much had the whole range now. Just, no, I won't worry about it. And besides, the coast is clear now. What do you mean? He's all yours. I've just finished with him, Jenny. Nikhil and I are no longer an item. I'm just saying, I'm surprised to see you working. Thought you'd be at home dossing around feeling sorry for yourself. Why do you think you're going to get sent down? Come on, that's not what I meant. That was a love life. Touchy subject. Let's hope me as grandma do not turn up for all I say, okay? Hello! Right, leave you to it. Stay be about. I'll come for my car. Just the bulb, wasn't it? No uh, hidden problems lurking to catch me off my guard. You bill. I'll uh, drop a check by if that's all right. You know, whatever you might think, I've really no wish to see your life ruined. I really don't care. If I'd gone against my conscience, I wouldn't be doing my job. No, you had an opportunity to help a few people through the hardest time of their lives, and you were nowhere to be seen. I will do everything I can to help you, Aaron, and that's a promise. You had your chance. Um, your car should be fine now. Thanks. I'll, uh... Yeah. Is this how you're gonna cope? Having to go at everyone that thinks differently to you. I really don't know how I'm gonna cope. <laughs> Very good. What? The botched barn, the man shouting at Jay, all I wind up. Rumble. Just like the one you've been pulling on us. Not the same at all. What? You bought that bond days ago and you've had us run round for you ever since. Well, I was obviously going to tell you both. You'd have kept it going for months, you know you would. Jay found it highly amusing. Like having us wait on you hand and foot? Quits. You still owe me 20 quid about the towels. Uh -uh. They came 
one from number four, didn't they? Eric, we are climbing the property ladder at last. <laughs> Hard work in this place, you know. At least you get a break now and then. No, the thing is with me, Bob, I just make this look easy. <laughs> hey, what are you having? Uh, personality transplant, please. Oh, you're as bad as him. What's going on? Chaz finished with him. Oh. Oh, he's well out of that one. She's a right stuck-up cow. Uh, every cloud? How do you mean? Well... At least if she's off the scene. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll just waltz over there, sweep him off his feet, live happily ever after. Fortune favours the brave. Yes, and that's rubbish when you think about it, isn't it? Well, have a word. No. Right, if, if you thought of him as just a mate, what would he do? Get me something strong in, will you? Been thinking about our party. Oh, it's just in there. We could have it at Andy's. Think I could persuade him. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you want it to be rubbish. Eric's only just bought the place. Yeah, so it's a housewoman. Just he won't be there. Anyway, are we allowed to get off now? Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, fetch us those candles first, Victoria. Your newfound angelic ways are going down a treat with Eric. Let's just hope you can keep it up. Oh, it's a new me, man, Val. I wouldn't go back to how I was before. Honest. Chess told me what happened. Of course you did. You girls tell each other everything, don't you? Well, she's my sister, so... Did she say what I did wrong? Because I, I really don't have a clue. You didn't do anything wrong. Then why'd she finish with me? Oh, maybe... You know, maybe you two, you're just, you're just not meant to be. Yeah, well, I'm not sure I'm meant to be with anyone. No matter how hard I try, they always end up dumping me. Maybe you shouldn't try so hard. Oh, yeah. Well, come here now. Not on my account, I hope. Well, let me buy you a drink. No, I'm all right with my mate. Yeah. Look, I know you liked her and, and you had a great laugh and you fancied her like mad, but I've been in love, Nikhil, and there's a lot more to it than that. Listen, if my history of car crash relationships has taught me anything, love doesn't exist. Well, that's not true. Jenny. I know it for a fact. Right. Well, maybe it's just not for me, then. You can't just give up. Jazz was softening the blow, saying there was someone else out there for me. There is. You know, you're just as patronising as she is. Why, because I'm, because I'm boring? I don't have a sense of humour? So how could anyone love me? I do. What? I love you. You love me? Yeah. It's your idea of a joke. It's a sick joke. Please, just wait. No, it, it all makes sense now. Something you dreamed up, the pair of you. Make me look like a prize idiot. Of course not. No, let's all have a good laugh at Nikhil's expense. I'd never do that. I get it. You're my consolation prize. I can't have Chaz, so she throws you at me instead. I don't know what you're saying. Well, I, I really hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Please, will you just listen? No, I can see the funny side of it. I really can. But if you think I could ever go for a girl like you... It's hilarious. Plain little Jenny. The office mouse. 
The most boring woman in the village, and she's my perfect match. Good one. No. No, I never thought that you could go for a girl like me. I mean, why would you? Well, I'm very grateful to you, Nikhil. Because I did think that I loved you, but now I can see who you really are. So thank you. Hope you're really happy. Gotta get on with it. I'm just grateful that he's here. You know, we all say we, we want something that challenges through life, and this is a challenge. It's the last in the series tonight. Baby Hospital is coming up at nine. But ahead of that, a very overprotective elephant mother is getting a bit too close for comfort. Animal Kingdom is next.